Hello again YouTube, this is Jacob from One Unit, and I'm here today to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone running 4.2.1 uh, iOS software uh, using Green Poison. Um, this break of Green Poison was just released Sunday, Saturday, Sunday-ish type thing. And so I'm going to give you all the instructions you need to jailbreak your phone. For those of you who may not be jailbroken. And then you can use my other videos to, you know, trick out your phone and all that stuff. Alright, so the first thing you need is to visit greenpoison.com and the second O is, you know, a O because, you know, the cool dev team thinks they need to be all cool like that. <laughs> but, um, it's, you know, it's free to download. Choose the one that you prefer or the one that you, you know, have to use, whichever, whichever floats your boat the most. And then what you also are going to need is the firmware umbrella. And this will be useful for uh, kicking your phone out of um, recovery mode whenever you whenever you do that. And so you'll see you'll see about the recovery mode in a little bit. It's also useful for uh, the next video. I'm going to put up my um, downgrading video because you'll need it to use your SHSHs to downgrade and all the other stuff. But for now, you're just going to use it for recovery mode. And so that is... Uh, that's from where those are the two programs that you need. Now, what you need to do after you download them is I'm going to hide my phone number from you people. Is you need to back up your computer or back up your uh, your phone, not not your necessarily computer. So you right click on your phone over there, and you just tell it back up, and it shall beginning backing it up. And if you haven't backed up your phone in a while, it could you know there's the potential for it to take some time. But if you plug in your phone regularly and back it up, then you really don't have anything to worry about. Okay, so you might as well close iTunes. We're pretty much done with it for the time being. And uh, then what you're going to do is... Let me minimize this. All right, here's Green Poison. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and double-click it. All right, now here's where things kind of get pretty cool because the dev team does a good job of making you feel like you're doing something important. So it tells you, get ready to, you know, get ready to start, press the little seat button, all that. This is going to put your phone in DFU mode. So I'm going to go ahead and start, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing as I do it with my phone. So I click jailbreak. Gives you nifty countdown timers. And then you're just going to continue holding home. And in my experience, I found that if you continue to hold home throughout the uh, like throughout the entire jailbreak, it works much better. Phone got a white screen. That's a good sign. You want your phone to look like it's dying. And here is how you know that it is being successful. Focus, focus. Basically, everything kind of was a little, a little crazy on the inside. So, this could take a minute or two. It all, you know, it's kind of on case by case business. I don't know. I'm trying to make it so you can read it. See right down there at the bottom. Says green poison initialized. I don't know if you can read that, but I can read it. I mean, you can you can see it if you're if you're there. So it'll tell you it's jailbreaking, and if you uh, when you run this, you'll notice that iTunes was killed. That's supposed to happen. Um, you know, obviously, don't open it. So it's jailbreaking, it's jailbreaking. Doing the best it can. And then it'll say complete. So then you can go ahead and click it to complete. And then the fun on your iPhone really begins. As for how long this takes, it's also kind of dependent on your, uh, on your phone. 
So I'm not going to bore y'all by making you watch the whole process of my phone being jailbroken, but uh, I will come right back as soon as it's done. And so you might as well pause the video if you're jailbroking along with me uh, until your phone gets past this point. Okay, so how about that, huh? That's pretty nifty. Um, I wasn't really expecting it, but it started out like that, and then it flips over to the green poison. And then it should it'll restart normally. And I'm pretty sure it'll activate iTunes. Let's see. Nope, not yet. You still got green poison skull. See little load lines? That means it's working. There you go iPhoto has recognized that I've got pictures. Another good sign. And now, ladies and gents, I present to thee... Loader. Now, what you have to do with loader... Oh, sorry. Is you touch it, it'll load, and you just tell it Cydia. Install Cydia. And now you know it'll take its its sweet, sweet, sweet time loading it. So I'll come back after it finishes downloading and show you what to do next. Okay. And now what you're going to have to do is probably you're um, probably going to have to respring. It does it on its own for you. Forgot I did that. It's been a while since I had to jailbreak my phone. I got stuck in an infinite loop last night and had to fight with it for about an hour to make it work. And then once you run that, it'll restart. Loading, loading, loading. Keep those pods of loading, Apple. I know, you don't have to tell me I have a beautiful voice. And by beautiful, I mean awful. I really kind of like custom loaders. It makes me feel cool. So it's working, it's working, it's working. Wahahaha. Got it to work again. Alright. And now for the true and final test. There it is. There's good old city for you. And you can come into loader. And you can remove the loader app. Because you really, after you do this, you don't need it anymore. And it'll just respring versus a full reboot like it just did. There you go. The city by itself. And then from there, you can, you know, do all kinds of crazy shenanigans. Uh, your SHSHs are saved automatically, I believe. Um, I was wrong about Tiny Umbrella. You really don't need it for this, but it's a pretty useful app if your phone ever gets stuck in recovery mode. Um, if you do this wrong at some point, you might get stuck that way and you might need it. But, um, and so that's how easy it is to jailbreak using the Green Poison. And I believe Green Poison works for 4.1 and 4.2.1. And so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I know. Um, this has been Jacob from One Unit and happy jailbreaking.